Hello my friends, this is Jody Renshaw from The Thrifty Pigeon and Studio 36. Today I would like to show you an unboxing of various goodies that I have received from other thrifter resellers and just other people in my life, including an Amazon purchase I made that maybe you want to make. So basically just going through my my boxes um, all my post office goodies for this week so I hope that you're well and uh, FYI our heat wave has broken here in Maine so I am much better <laughs> I am feeling much better although you can see I am very tired my eyes show uh, what I'm trying to hide which is that I am very very tired but I'm happy to be here and um, I have some good things to show so let's do it and after this I hope to do a haul video because I'm behind on some of my haul videos and I went thrifting today I went thrifting two days ago and both of those I haven't shown yet so I'm hoping to get that done um, also, our live sale, my husband and I are going to postpone our live sale that is typically on Sunday at 8 p.m. till Monday at 6 p.m. And I will be posting that everywhere. But the reason for that is the holiday weekend. I asked on eBay what everyone thought. And uh, the votes were in and, and folks wanted us to do it on Monday. So that is when we're going to do it. So let's see, let's look at some goodies. So first, uh, my best friend next door, Bronwyn, she, and I point to her house, like you can see it. She's right there. Um, she was like, hey, do you want this Hardy Boys book? So this was an over the fence um, gifting. <laughs> and yes, I want this Hardy Boys book. And I don't know if I'm gonna read it first. I kind of want to. I used to read the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew in my um, Mimi, my grandmother's house, she had the entire collection. And while the adults were playing cards and gambling uh, and drinking and, you know, being 20 somethings, I guess they were all young parents. I was up in the uh, upstairs rooms reading these books. So I have forgotten them entirely and I thought maybe I, I might read one before I uh, pass it on to someone else. Let's see. So my girl at Kim at Oh My Vintage, uh, she, is the, she is so great. So I will put her link in the description uh, if you haven't met her yet through YouTube. She is wonderful. And I know, like, you just know when some people are wonderful in real life too. And I am certain Kim is wonderful in real life, too. I have no doubts about it. Uh, her packaging is on point. <laughs> look at how, look at that happy little enjoy. And the happy, thank you, Jody. I can just hear her saying it. She's so sweet. So I purchased um, handkerchiefs from her to dab when it's too hot around here. Oh, gracious be. Look at this. Look at this. I am not this good. To the to the wonderful Jody. Oh my gracious. Oh my gracious. Way to meet her. I mean, I haven't met her in real life. I hope to do so. Let's see what she says here. Oh, gracious. Oh my. All right, I think it's okay to read out loud. She, she sent me um, her card and also a code for her Etsy shop should I want to make a purchase. Okay, and she wrote all of this by hand. I'm going to pull it back just in case there's anything that I shouldn't read in front of everyone. Um, oh, she's wonderful. Dearest Jody, hello, how are you? Hope all is well. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for your support at my live sale. I appreciate your patronage, especially during this trying time for small businesses like mine. 
and I hope I may continue to merit it. Kim, you do. So, thank you. If you happen to take a photo while using these items, please tag me at Oh My Vintage on Instagram or email. I'd love to see how you style it. Hmm. Enjoy. See you at my next YouTube live sale on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Stay safe and take care. Always, Kim, Oh My Vintage. Oh. I wish I was this nice, guys. I send you funny things, but um, but I don't do like Kim does and send these beautiful things. Kim, you will merit it. I, You are so lovely. All right, so this package. She does her live sales with her husband, and I've never seen him. He's in the background kind of helping her, kind of like Halise does for mine. And uh, I just really like that. Couples live sales are fun for me. I really like them. So I bought two hankies to use to dab my face when it's super hot out. And one of the things that I like about Kim's sale is that she was selling two different lots of hankies. Neither one of them sold. So I asked her if she could take one hanky from one lot and another hanky from another lot and put them together and I would buy them. And she did. So I chose these very specifically. So I guess what I'm saying. And uh, you'll see me dab with them when it's hot. Oh, I hope this isn't making too much noise. So we have the purple hanky. Mm. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. <laughs> I bet you she cleans them, but yeah. Oh. There we go. It is not hot at all. I think it's like 70 degrees in Maine right now. And this one. Look at that. So yes. I don't find the pretty hankies that she does, so I'm happy to buy them from her. So that was my first thing. Um, I think I paid $8 in shipping. So I was happy to. Thank you, Kim. And I will put your link. Um, catch one of Kim's, catch one of Kim's live sales. She's, she's just too lovely for this world. She's wonderful. Okay, so Stephanie at Thrifting Adventures. I've been holding on to this for a while. I did open it um, to show you all, and I have not opened her card yet. Uh, Stephanie sell at Thrifting Adventures, she sells a lot of jewelry, uh, paper, ephemera, just about everything actually. Um, a lot of smaller pieces I tend to see in her sales. Um, okay, so she sent me a thank you card. Ooh. And I am able to reuse it as most people, a lot of people send thank you cards empty, which is something I do too, so that you can reuse it. It's just me saying thank you, but also you can reuse it. So she sent me a playing card for paper ephemera. And of course, I am a queen. Thank you, baby. Christmas trivia game. Let's play one. What carol gives us the line, quote, star with royal beauty bright? And the answer is we three kings. Um, is the Yule log originally a Christian or pagan tradition? I think you probably all know this. It's a pagan tradition. Does Ralphie shoot his eye out in a Christmas story? No, but almost. Uh, let's see. Shah, oh, I'm going to butcher this. Sorry. Shah Naya Baras is Merry Christmas in which language? Hindi, Tagalog, or Esperanto? I didn't even know these were languages. I learn something new every day. And it is Hindi, and I am sure that I have butchered it. So that is how you say Merry Christmas in Hindi. Then she sent me, oh, I have these two actually. They're slang cards. So blowout, 
Blowout is an exp- is ex- an explosive diarrheal bowel movement. She sent this to the right person. Uncontainable by a diaper and usually occurring in public that renders toxic anything in the immediate vicinity, including but not limited to the baby's outfit, car seat, parent's lap, and air that is breathed. <laughs> That's the definition of a blowout. Stephanie, you sent that to the right person. Thank you. And then her card. And I got this book from her. I am not in need of books. Let's be honest with each other. I have so many books. Kids books, vintage books. Come over to my house. But I didn't, uh, I have never seen this one before. And you know me by now, hopefully. I love diversity and um, cherish it in vintage items. And there is quite a bit of diversity in here. So I'll either use this in my art, read it on my YouTube channel, hold on to it. Um, I'm not sure yet. Diversity in vintage items is hard to come by. And so I really, really appreciate it. Especially when it's done well without um, creating caricatures of false ideas about other people's. So basically this is a, a book about all different houses and who lives in them and it's the illustrations are lovely so so i really wanted this thank you very much stephanie this was a good buy thank you okay what else do we have oh you guys know i love my dresses my ombre dresses i cannot believe i haven't opened this yet so this is an ursula inspired dress and if you haven't seen my ombre my video about Ombre. It is a woman-owned business. She creates um, all sorts of clothing for men and women that is Disney Park inspired. So it doesn't necessarily scream, I am Disney, uh, but it gives a little hint of it. And the other day I went out thrifting with my son and twice I was stopped and asked where I got my dress and I was so happy to say ombre and give them the the um, website and so forth the thing about ombre is when she creates a certain uh, a pattern it goes out of print fairly quickly so the dress I was wearing that that so many people were complimenting is called jungle cruise and you just can't find it anymore so it's the Jungle Cruise, uh, it's an homage to the Jungle Cruise, um, oh geez, attraction at Disney. So it's my favorite. I love it so much. So I would compliment somebody else if they were wearing it too. It's just amazing. Anyway, she, uh, no, excuse me. I, no, she, I was saying it right. She put out a, an Ursula-inspired dress. I hope I'm not upsetting any of you with this sound quality. Oh, if you could feel this. If you could feel that. I make no money off of you guys uh, going to Ombre and looking at her dresses and buying her dresses. But this was $36. That's it. Oh my gosh, this is my first time seeing it. I am so excited. And I bought a purple scarf today, actually. Um, it's going to go perfect with this. So, so yeah, check out A-M-B-R-I-E. Check out Ombre. Like, I, I, sh I shouldn't tell so many people about it because um, then I'm in competition with them for dresses <laughs> that are limited in quantity, but... I, it's such a great business. I adore it. 
and I have so many ombre dresses. You guys know how I feel about dresses. This is actually not a dress today. This is a shirt, and I feel kind of awkward wearing shirt, a shirt and pants. Um, I did get a couple things on Amazon before, <laughs> before I show you some of the other one more thrifted goodie. I was like, oh yeah, I'll show them what I got on Amazon. So Santina, okay, because the reason I show you some of these things too is if you're a plus size curvy lady like myself, it's hard to find good quality things, I think. I think that's changing. But um, I like to share with you what works for me and what doesn't work for me and then see if that works for you. So I needed leggings to like the short leggings, the capri leggings to go underneath some of my dresses because some of the dresses I own when I bend over, when I bend over, you see what God created. So I thought these would be a good idea. I have not tried them on yet. I have no idea if they're going to work to um, still look good underneath some of my dresses. I mean, that would go well together. So we'll give it a shot. I'll let you know. I'll try to let you know. And then <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this for a reason. Um, I love sexy lingerie. Who doesn't? And I got this Amazon piece. And it is also the same Santini or Sa I'm sorry, Satina, Satina, essential clothing for the modern woman. I am a modern woman. So this is kind of tie dye and has this cool back. Um, I have not tried it on yet. I'm excited to see what it looks like, but I wanted to show you guys this and see what you thought. When they send you the matching underwear, do y'all just throw it away? <laughs> because I know I do. I love a good thong. But these are not good thongs. <laughs> so, God bless America, I just throw them away. So, I don't know about you guys. So anyway, yeah, these ha this company has plus size, um, beautiful uh, sleepwear and so forth, and active wear. So I'll be excited to try that, to try that on. What else do we have? Oh my gosh. Guys, friends. Why am I not getting this? I found this on my porch. To sweet Jody, love me. XOXOXO. XO, XO. I love a lot of people. I love a lot of people, a lot of local people. And I don't know who this is, <laughs> but they know me. So the funny thing is they spelled my name wrong because it's J-O-D-I, which means maybe they're not on my Facebook, right? Because you would see my, they're not a friend that's probably on my Facebook because you would see my name is J-O-D-I or on any social media on YouTube, anything. You guys all know my name is J-O-D-I. So I'm like, this is me trying to find clues as to who this is. So it's somebody who doesn't necessarily watch me on social media. But then they totally know my love for Mr. Rogers. Like I am obsessed with Mr. Rogers. Obsessed. And they wrote, I love you. XOXOXOXO. I looked for a name, couldn't find it. This anonymous, beautiful human being put this on my porch. Look at this. I can play with Mr. Rogers all day long. I'm sorry about the shininess. I'm not using lights right now though. I'm using the sun, I'm using the sun. So yeah, did you know a couple things? All his sweaters his mommy made for him. That's real. I've read every biography about Mr. Rogers. So his mommy made all his sweaters. Um, he also tried to stay at 143 pounds at all times. He weighed himself every single morning and would work out or eat to maintain 143 pounds. 
a little obsessive, but I love him. And his reasoning was one fourth, one, four, three is I love you. I love him. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I had to cough. I had to cough and didn't want to do it live, but now you're seeing the aftermath. Well, not live, but on this video. So yes, I love Mr. Rogers and I have no idea who sent that to me or put that on my porch. They know me enough to know where I live. Know me enough to know I love Mr. Rogers. Maybe they still know me enough to be on social media with me, but just spelled my name wrong. I asked the beautiful neighbors across the street because it seems like such a like neighborly thing to put on my porch. Uh, the three ladies, three young ladies who live across the street and they were like, no, what are you talking about? And I was like, don't play me. I know you guys put it there. And they said, no, no, it wasn't us. We've been in Bar Harbor all week. So, um, so I don't know who it is. So, and you know what? I like the magic of that. Like if you don't want to let yourself be known, I appreciate that. I have done things for other people and I really don't want them to know who it is because I think it takes some of the magic away. So you decide. Um, I don't like this shirt. I don't know why I put that in there. But anyway, you decide. You decide if you want to make yourself known. But here's what I'll say. Thank you so very much. Because that was a beautiful gift. And very unexpected. And came on a day when I needed it. So, thank you very much. Lastly, I bought something from Canada. From, um... Uh, what is her name? Mama's Treasures. I don't know her that well. Um, I will put a link to her. She's in Canada. And one of the things I did not realize until I made a purchase from her was that if you buy from Canada through a live sale or something, um, you get quite the discount because our dollar is far ahead of theirs right now. So I, I did not know that. I thought maybe, oh, I was like, oh, maybe I spent a little too much on this fairy lamp. Wait till you see. Um, but I didn't. So, so first she sent me some vintage, uh, oh, you know, those little, they were in those craft, oh gosh, what are they called? You'd get these in the mail a couple times a month or once a month and you'd keep them in a storage container. Anyway, thank you. Those are adorable. I will look at them after. I want to see the fairy lamp. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, guys, if you're listening to this. I should have pre-done this. Actually, hold on, and I will. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I am so glad I did that off screen because she wrapped this so well. So it would get from, I think, all the way from Western Canada to Maine intact and she did a great job so I bought this fairy lamp because um, I really don't like the shirt I bought this fairy lamp because I uh, thought it was so unusual and I don't know if I'm going to keep it maybe I'll keep it for a little bit I am NOT as into fairy lamps as other people are but I look out for them because I know how much some of you are into them so uh, this one comes from all the way from, oh gosh, I want to say Saskatchewan, but I don't know. Anyway, check this out. It's frosted. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detailing. Oh my heavens. Look at that. Look at the top. So, I mean, it's beautiful. Why wouldn't I keep it? It is made by Party Light, which probably reduces its value. I don't know the age. I don't know how long Party Light's been around. But for the price she was asking, I could not say no. Did you just hear my puppy? He whines when he wants attention. And it is the cutest whine you've ever heard. 
So yeah, if anybody wants this, let me know. I didn't, I bought it to kind of support her and because it's beautiful, but I, I have no attachment to it. It is absolutely beautiful and she did a great job packaging it. And um, I'm sure if I throw a candle in there, it's going to be absolutely stunning. So I may just keep it unless anybody wants it, unless you have to have it. So that's my unboxing for today. Um, we saw something that was given to me on my porch, <laughs> something that was given to me over my fence, something, uh, two things that were sent to me by sellers, um, Amazon, I always throw away the underwear, and uh, was that it? I think so. I think so, my friends. That's our unboxing for today. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your recent emails. I've read them all, and as you probably know, have responded to all of them. This community we're building together is beyond beautiful and supportive. So thank you very much. Of course, they'd have to act up at some time. So the dogs say hi. Next is a haul video, and then I hope to see you guys Monday at 6 p.m. for our live sale. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Be kind to each other and to yourself. Bye for now.